Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Black Myth Wukong. And at the end of the last episode, I entered into a boss battle, um, somewhat accidentally, and did okay. I did all right. Not great, but not terrible. I, I did die. Uh, spoiler alert, I did die, but we put up a heck of a fight. You know what? One thing that I would like to do, actually, before going back into that fight is getting a particular type of medicine or medicament as they like to call it which is the shock quelling and i can make several of them let's go ahead and make three and even though i just changed up my hot bar let's go ahead and do that again uh let's see i don't think i will do the tiger subduing pellets i don't think i'll particularly Ooh, that's not what I want. I don't think I'll particularly need it for this fight, but getting the anti-shock might just help us. Now, what we can do is we can actually bypass all of them just by heading up here straight away. Oh, gosh. At least that's what I thought. Now, what break tell was this way, if anything? Ah, interesting. Hmm. I mean, I... Oh, good golly. Does this just really lead? Yes, it does. Just leads to where we fought the frog. Ah. I'm so good at directions. I sometimes scare myself. Do we want to absorb that? There's really no reason whatsoever not to. So let's just do the thing where we put on the Guanyin prayer beads. Get that absorbed. And it gives me will anyway, right? And then immediately go ahead and take those off. And we'll get a temporary boost. Why? Why not? Oh, there is a treasure there by the statue. Tell you what, let's just, let's rush the boss. So we have all of our mana, all of our health, all that wonderful stuff. And once again, gonna go for the little guy. Can we really just do this, though? That's not what I wanted. What I want is I'm just gonna transform, close the distance, and start the fight. Oh, he just disappeared into the sand. Where, where is he? Where? Where's the little one? Oh, you're up there, you! You know what? I think I maybe need to get him to knock his friend down. Did you switch? You did. Okay, well, this is gonna be a problem. I guess we'll just deal damage. It's not going to be very much. Alright, get right into the immobilize. Oh, what was that? Oh, I'm trying to summon... What? Why can't I summon him? Do I not have enough chi? I have no idea. Don't love that. Oh, you can do the headbutt. There it is. Oh, that's a significant chunk. Back up. Oh, that was a lot. Not really... Focusing on these dodges all that well. Oh, I think I just hit his friend down. Okay, time to switch focus, I think. Great damage. Now run away and heal. Charge. 
amazing damage. Okay, you're gone. Yeah, so I think you get a buff now. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, let's do a shock quelling and an evil repelling. Oh, okay. Oh, that... Nice. Nice timing on that immobilization. Oh, I thought I would jump over that. How did I miss? Because unlike... Unlike me, apparently, he can jump right over attacks. Back up. Oh. Yeah, he's got incredible defense, it would seem, or health. Do I have enough mana? No, I don't. Rats. Okay, let's rush back there again. It definitely makes me curious as to what happens if you kill this guy first. So I'm just going to go right into my transformed state and uh, begin. That was an awesome attack. Ooh, nice stagger, too. Into an immobilization. Love it. Into the headbutt? I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. Oh, and he hurt his head. Okay, let's heal. Uh-oh. Oh, that was amazing. Nice big heavy. And immobilization. What's going to happen with the King of Flowing Sands, though? Okay, we're doing all right. Ooh. That one hurts. We almost got him, though. Oh, he got hit by his friend. Big hit. Back up, back up. Oh, he got hit by his friend. Oh, <laughs> by his friend. Oh, it's his dad. Duh, he is the prince. I'm going to try to save a little bit of mana. Oh. Oh, interesting. You don't have to beat the dad. Blood of the Iron Bull, Silk, Yakuai Core, Bunch of Will, Another Spark. And some music. New portrait, of course. But we have a statue here. Oh, one of the two-headed statues. Use tally. Required. 
多么瞧不开。生逢奇书蔽日月，三位妙法照三海。要想接纳黄毛书经。必须要得心服口力，一个不够凑一双。I I do love the singing, but I'm also trying to be quiet and listen to it while at the same time exploring here. Okay, so I needed something from a tigress, I think. Oh, fragrant jade flower. That was a new. Come on now, let me gather. That was a new ingredient that I saw in my uh, mixology course. Is that what this is for? Just gathering some ingredients? Uh oh, careful now. Not quite dead yet. Back up. Excellent. So what in the world is this way? Nothing. So one one minor issue that I have, you know, honestly, it's not even that minor. It does kind of irk me is that you have things like this, these set pieces, these kind of off the beaten path areas where you think, oh, I don't think I can go that way. But then it lets you get a little ways in only to then put up an invisible wall. And for a game that's somewhat linear, like this one has been, kind of leads to some confusion. There's no real clear, can I get there until you go try it? And sometimes you can, and sometimes you can. It's just a, it can be disheartening. Okay, I think I want to explore the village instead of pushing on. I know we got that Oh, we don't have the big guy to deal with, do we not? I thought he respawned. I'm not disappointed that he doesn't, though. Uh, that's funny that I can absorb from here, and I think I will. I'll cheese it, that's fine. If the game wants to play that game, I'll play it right alongside him. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, there was an archer up there, right? I believe. Uh, I tell you what, let's just do this. Oh! Finish you. Big ol' heavy attack. That is a wonderful thing. Okay, there wasn't an archer. I'm okay with that miss from Oh, it's a turtle! <laughs> it's adorable! I love that. Laurel, but oh, a new ingredient for a soak? So let's see. Does that tell me what it's worth? Small piece of gold speckled with bits of stone. Where do they come from? Perhaps they could be traded at the Keeper's Shrine. I imagine that they can. Using the gourd moderately increases damage reduction for a short time. All right. Now what's interesting is that there's a number held. I wonder if at some point I'll be able to use more than one soak in my gourd. I feel like that very well could be. Lovely. Another two-headed Yaogwai. Yeah, this time we do have you. How do I deal with you? Do I just shadow step my way up? Or cloud step, rather? Or can I just... Aha! Take to the rooftops. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm not going to absorb you right now. 
just get the spin going. That way you can block and attack. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Also, I'm on fire. <laughs> this is this is not okay. But if I get up there, and I can use sha or cloud step for this, I think that's going to be my only chance. Just go, 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 go. It's going to run out soon. All right, I'm okay with you. Come on now. Another one. Sorry. His shield's about to break. Good. Keep those perfect dodges coming. And... Got him. Okay. Good. Now... I know that I was heading in that direction. What I still want to do, though, you might expose me. is apparently talk to this guy in the uh, stone hut. What I really want to do, though, is unlock the gate back to the keeper Ooh. shrine. Now, stop poking around here. If them two heads lay eyes on us, we're both done for. Okay, so I think I need to go kill him first. Back home has led us to exile. We'd hope to rebuild with the Rat Sage's guidance, but. But I saw that vanguard of his feasting upon. Our king has lost his way. Escape was the only choice. The two heads are the best fighters. And now they are hunters of their own kin. We'll star fighting here. Let's get out and get this over with. Why are you still here? Don't put me in danger. Be off. Patience there. Patience. We dash out. I'll cut them two heads at a time, kin or not. Patience there. Okay, go kill him. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you. I think I'll come back to you once I've killed that guy. All right, another one of the... One of those lightning guys. Oh my gosh. What is that thing? Oh my, this area is huge! And I have no idea where the gate even is that I'm looking for. Oh, is it that right there? It is that right there, isn't it? Alright. What is my best course of action? Not just standing still right there. I didn't want to slide off. Can I? Okay. That's not going to do me any good. And I'm out of stamina. Right. Okay, let's just run. Get behind here and see what nasties are waiting for me. Who, what, when, where, why? Who? Shield broken. So are you. Oh, I can absorb. That's going to give me a little bit of gourd left, right? Or maybe like a charge. Oh, that looks like a couple charges. Maybe even some mana? Pos oh, I think it just extends my mana, right? Yes. Yeah, that might be pretty lame. Me always switching armbands, but uh, it works. Oh, 
Wait, nope. Die quickly. Oh, what is that? Oh, stop. Run. Nope. Okay, now move. Good. Right. I don't know how well that's going to help. All things considered, I'm gonna have to heal. This is interesting. Oh! Oh, liquor, right? Wrong button. Good job. It is. Oh, two licorice, even. Right? Like this right here. I mean, that looks like a cave that the game wants me to explore. That just looked like a suspicious rock pile. Excellent. Well, I think at this point, all I've got is the big guy. And the big guy is going to absolute. Well, if we start with the transformation, and I then, when I come out of it, I immobilize him, and then I use my medicaments, maybe. Maybe I have a chance? I don't know. I would love for him to face a way for me to start, though. Okay, good. Oh, get up there. Big hit. Decent, but not great. Immobilize. Oh, that would have been great if I had actually hit it. Back up. Oh, that was amazing. He can still kill me very easily. Especially when he does something like that down and I can't even see it. Heal. Back up, back up, back up. Almost got him. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh run! Big run. I forgot about that. Whew. So he's dead. Were you guarding something? Just an empty house? I think this is where that one bit of free-floating will was. Wow, it's dark in there. Well, let's go talk to our friend. Who wants to give me something incredibly important. I can just feel it in my monkey bones. Wow, those medicines are very, very powerful. I never take part in slaying kin. <laughs> now that you have rid me of them, it's time for me to go. With a blinded king, we can never rise again. We must find the missing prince. Oh, the prince? <laughs> uh, whoops. The third prince? But he's against rats, remember? Look at us now. He won't even recognize us. Not one bit. The king honored rats. That's why the third prince left. Some claim to have seen him far away. Somewhere in Buddha's realm in the west. We must find it then. But where? 
and how the king honored Ra oh some claim to we must find it so some sort of npc quest and i get nothing out of it right now and i only killed one of the princes okay uh what is the plan okay before we go and attack you we do oh we have that will over there is that oh hopefully i can go grab that safely Excellent. Okay, now switch back. I'm playing this as strategically as I can. That works for me. Oh, goodness. Okay. How did I miss? Uh-oh. Transform. Okay, you're dead. Also dead. So far, so good. There's some sort of. Cr Sir, I just want a word with your king. What is that? What? There's a bunch of archers on the other side of that wall. Please, Someone's tied up. Interesting. Maybe I should just stick to the outside? I heard some. S oh no, Earthwolf! Alright. Oh! Heal! Where are you? I don't need your help. You take no damage. Also, you did just leave. You went back. That was interesting. <laughs> Fate binds, it's you. Sir. From the Black Wind Mountain to here, we meet again. Those rats. They tied me up on sight for no reason. Joking, they'd prepare me for their king's table. Uh, this place crawls with Yaogwai's eager for a bite. But don't worry. If they bite into me, they'll bite more than they can chew. Can I untie him? This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. And the Yellow Wind Sage keeps silent. How odd. Who would swear fealty to such a king? Let's make haste and go. Never linger at a peril such as this. Just leave. These rats are no match for me. And I can make my own way out. You are a skinny one. But these rats aren't picky eaters. Flee. The quicker the better. I won't die here with my task undone. There are too many eyes around here. We'll meet again if fate wills it. Uh, but I didn't even untie you. Right, well... At any rate, I think... Ah, yes! At the very least, I can open this up. So now... What? Hold on, was that not... Not, not what I thought. Oh, there's so many. Um, well. What? 
What is going on? No, please. My gosh. Okay. Oh, you have spirit. Hey. I will just hold you here. Stop. No, please don't die to you. Just using a crossbow. I don't know if I just accidentally did the counter resolution. I might have. You know, I have another stance that I should probably be remembering as well. But um, yeah, I just got a new spirit. The Rat Archer. And a full gourd refill? Wow. Take the form of a Rat Archer. Load and shoot arrow several times in succession, dealing damage multiple times. Moderately reduce the stamina cost for staffs, but actually? Yeah. That's pretty useful in this area. But also, that apparently was not... The gate that I was thinking it was. So we're just going to keep trying to do some clearing, I would think. Before trying to take on this mini boss. And I hear snarling, but it seems like it's coming from the right. No, this is it. Oh, maybe the archers all dropped down. Okay, so that's good. Don't have much mana. I don't have my transformation ready. And I don't have enough mana for immobilization. So this is going to be interesting. Well, let's go ahead and try. Whoa! Oh, it ran out! This thing takes almost no damage. And the camera is, for some reason, really, really up close and personal here. Do I need to get you to charge into something? Like, what just happened there? Okay, so you got the frog thing. All right, transformation time. Excellent, good. What's with the camera in this fight? This is terrible. Alright, tell you what. We might be able to take him out. I don't know. Man, it would certainly help. I do wonder if maybe I can kind of knock some sense into him. Well. Less about knocking sense into him and more him knocking sense into himself.
Oh, gosh. I mean, I, I've only gotten him to half health after all this. Not even. Okay, got something going on here. Back up. Okay, we almost have the transformation again. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, no, this isn't Souls. Don't button mash. What are you doing? Wow. Give me that transformation. I might just run away. Come on. Unlock. Red tide, red tide, red tides. Quickly now. Ready? Yes, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, and a spirit to go along with it. How about that, huh? Oh, I still have this. That would have actually been useful not to have equipped, but here we are. The Earth Wolf Spirit, you say? Recklessly charge straight at the foe to make them stumble. Grants a small amount of additional focus on hit. Nice. Yeah, that might actually be pretty cool. Um, We'll switch. <laughs> Chi cost is high. Which most of them are other than the wolf assassin. I'm going to go try, uh, try to talk to my horse friend. See if he has anything new to say now. This place is a jumble of the yellow... Nope. Let's make haste just, and I can make my own way out. Okay, this is great. Uh, let's see if we can't push our way towards the next Keeper Shrine. But first, we have this arena we can check out. Don't know if there's anything worthwhile. Scratch that. I don't know if there's anything at all. Okay. Not, not bad. I gotta say. Pretty pleased with how I've actually handled myself. Other than the, you know, immense amounts of cowardice I've displayed. And hey, we got this this guidance right here, which I think will lead us to the next shrine. We have some delicious sparks. To oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I know, I know that way. But what's over here? What's this bridge? Oh no, what's this bridge? What is that thing? You know what I call that? Tomorrow's problem. Yeah, no. We'll we'll be back. Let's go find let's go find a shrine.
We've earned it. We've earned it. Plus, I've got some reading ahead of me. What did we unlock? Three? Ah, would you just... You know, I gotta remember that move. I don't know why I keep... What's going on? I mean, it's so powerful, and I don't use it. I just don't use it, and that's... There's no excuse. Honestly, I've forgotten all about it. What did this say, by the way? Oh, and I see this shrine right there. Sternness of stone, keenness of tiger. Okay. Which I do not yet possess. But what I do possess is peace of mind. Because I've made it to another shrine. Let's see what my will is looking like. Uh, let's go into craft. I've got 9,000 will. I can make it. I can make the Wind Bear Staff. Okay. Love it. That is excellent. Wait. Hold the craft. I'm sorry, so if I want to use that again, I have to craft it? I don't just have it on me? That's interesting. I don't love that. But, hey, more damage is more damage. That is pretty great. And in terms of armor, I still... Oh no, I made everything I wanted to make, right? I should probably still get the serpent scale battle robe, especially because if it's going to affect me in water and so does the serpent staff, then that would be good. But we need to reignite. We have three sparks to spend. Let's look at foundations. After sprinting, light attack started temporarily deals more damage. I do enjoy that. I think I will be getting this. We've been seeing a ton of archers. Significantly reduces the, the cost. Oh yeah, let's just do it. Let's just go all in on that silly little spin that I was making fun of. All right. Well, next time, I have what I believe to be a side path over yonder that we'll be checking out. And then I guess we'll be going into that uh, dark, scary cave. Because why wouldn't we? But if you're not interested in any more lore, this is where I will leave you and say thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. And for everyone else interested in all this amazingly written information... We've got some stuff to talk about. We read about the rat captain. Ooh, Ling Zilling. Is that new fungi guy? Fung, fungi guy? Sure, let's go with it. It's the new mushroom we just fought. Deep in the woods beneath the trees, where mountains green and waters please, it guards its friends with gentle ease, but gather strength when threat it sees. In the highland bounds, a famed wine estate thrived, renowned for its medicinal brews. These beverages, with their enchanting aroma and exquisite flavor, were beloved by the people, and its business flourished. The master of the estate had two sons, coming of age, noble in their aspirations, yet prideful in their hearts. Cared not for the art of brewing, they spent their time seeking the company of heroes, heedless of their father's admonishments. It was at this time that a bereaved family in the village uncovered a a disturbing incident, the desecration of their loved one's grave. The villagers gathered there only to discover the shattered coffin lid and clusters of fungi where the corpse could have lain. Such sporadic incidents had occurred before yet remained unresolved, prompting the brothers to uncover the truth. Day after day they scoured the mountains until one fateful night, as the two stealthily returned home in the darkest hour, they caught a glimpse of a figure disappearing into their brewery cellar. They pursued the presumed thief only to discover a monstrous creature capped with a blood-red lingzi mushroom. Without hesitation, the brothers lunged forward, slaying the creature on the spot. The sound startled the master, who arrived only to find the lingzi creature lying dead. 
filled with a mix of anger and frustration, he revealed that the creature was in fact the brewer of the finest beverage of the estate. His sons, who had been intent on showcasing their conquest, were filled with shame and regret and dared not utter another word. Their business dwindled in the years that followed, a once grand manner in disarray. Unable to endure the situation any longer, the brothers resolved to leave home in search of a new life. Prior to their departure, the aged master hosted a grand feast, bidding farewell to them alongside relatives and friends. Curiously, after their departure, the business suddenly flourished once more. Only the master knew the reason behind it. Every midnight, two monstrous beings, bearing an uncanny resemblance to his sons with lingzy mushroom cap atop their heads, would toil to craft the finest brews for the brewery. Oh, that's a bit sad. And then we have the Earth Wolf. On moonless nights with winds that cry, the time for debts and vengeance nigh. In kind Yaogwai's place your trust, but wicked souls defy you must. There was once a general's son who served as a drill master in the barracks. Cruel and ruthless he was, and the soldiers trembled at his commands. Yet out of respect for the general, they bore their resentment in silence. The drill master, who had a passion for hunting, kept a Chinese jigu, a slender hound. One day, he went hunting with several instructors, but returned empty-handed, much to his shame. He blamed the innocent hound for their failure and had it beaten to death. Okay. The soldiers, who had been ordered to kill the hound, were much troubled in spirit, as they should be. Sorry, went backwards. They buried the hound in a field behind the barracks, where many lingzi mushrooms grew, and gathered at night to chant sutras for the repose of its soul. One night the drill master heard a dog barking outside the barracks. He sent men to seek out the source of the noise, but the barking ceased each time they approached, only to resume once they had returned to sleep. After a few times, the drill master lost his temper and went to investigate himself. As he stood in the yard, he felt the sound came from beneath the ground and ordered his men to dig up the earth. As the soil was cleared away, the hound leaped from the earth, appearing as it had in life, but now adorned with thin tentacles like the roots of some peculiar plant. The drill master, thrilled by this rare find, called to the hound. It recognized its master and bounded joyfully towards him. However, two hard antler-like mushrooms had grown upon its head. As the hound leaped into the drill master's arms, these mushrooms pierced his chest and he died then and there. The soldiers rushed to call the healers, shouting in panic and confusion. Amid the turmoil, no one thought to catch the hound. Later, no matter how they searched, they never found a trace of it. Ah, and now we get the royal family of flowing sands. A foolish son, a clever father. One plans ahead, the other rather. On the battlefield, no room for kin. The cunning rather flees. Excuse me. The cunning father flees, leaving his son within. The kingdom of flowing sands had three princes of the royal line. The eldest prince, favored by the king, was a renowned warrior for his valor in the battles against the Fuban. He was granted the title of Valiant General, but later a shadow darkened his mind, clouding his reason and erasing his memories of his kin. Thus he was hidden away. The king was heartbroken. Luckily, two of his sons yet remained. The third prince, the youngest and the king's most trusted, was well versed in poetry and deeply fond of Buddhist teachings. He possessed both wisdom and strength. However, when the king issued the Rodent Reverence Edict and executed those ministers who opposed it, third prince left in protest. This is what the one villager in the house was talking about. Wrath consumed the king, but one of his sons still remained. The second prince, though a man of great strength, was simple of mind. He was neither as skilled a warrior as his elder brother, nor as clever as his younger sibling. Of the three sons, he was the least favored by the king. Nevertheless, he remained by the king's side the longest. Actually, really sad hearing the way that the children are being described and thinking that this one, this second prince, is the one that we fought and killed. When the Yellow Wind King retrieved a mighty vessel and returned, the King of Flowing Sands rallied to his banner with what remained of his people, hoping to reclaim his lost kingdom. The Yellow Wind King, short on men, saw the fierce spirit in the second prince and welcomed him and his followers into his ranks. But the Yellow Wind King had a tiger vanguard whose hunger for rat flesh required a fresh feast each day. When the Yellow Wind King retreated into his meditating seclusion, the tiger grew even bolder. 
only the savage might of the second prince's hammer could give him pause from time to time. I just love the idea that there's this tiger eating rats left and right. And the second prince just looks over and says, you want us to bonk him? And then he bonks him and the tiger's like, hey, my bad. Much did the second prince sacrifice. Uh, I understand that this is like really beautifully written prose and here I am just interjecting, but it's what I do. Much did the second prince sacrifice for his king, his father, the king, yet through all the perils and hardships they endured, the king of flowing sands never failed to bring the eldest prince with him and continuously sent minions to seek out the youngest. What thoughts dwelled in the heart of the second son, none could say. Well, it sounds like according to you, not not many thoughts at all. That's all the journals. Make sure we have taken a look here. So we did get, oh, nine capped Lindsay. I didn't even realize that. With night caps forming a splendid canopy, this fungus originated in the celestial realm adorning the palace of the immortals. I think nine caps might be what they meant to say instead of night caps. Although there's clearly many more than nine there. Unless it's supposed to be night capped Lindsay. Possessing a cool fragrance, it bestows relief and solace upon inhalation. Excellent. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. And I'll see you next time.